I have said various times during the lessons that in Python, everything is basically an object. And that perhaps hasn't meant a whole lot so far, but <clears throat> we'll begin to see um, that the ideas of object-oriented programming um, are ac actually have a big place in Python. And one of those aspects of object-oriented programming is the uh, concept of methods. So let's take a moment and review a little bit about objects and classes, which we talked about in an earlier lesson. So classes are basically abstract categories of things. So <clears throat> in this example, uh, the abstract category is the class car, but we can have objects that are um, individuals of that class or particular instances like um, my Toyota Prius or someone else's Ferrari and so forth. A method is, for all practical purposes, a function that is tied to a particular class. So, um, and, and this method we can apply to any object that is an instance of that class that the method's associated with. The way that we indicate that we're talking about a method <clears throat> is we write the object name, then a dot, and then the method name with a parentheses. So it would make sense for a class like car to have methods like drive and accelerate because those are things that you can do to a car. Uh, the way we would write this, if the object's name is Toyota Prius, then the drive method we would say Toyota Prius dot drive, and then the argument we could pass in is where we want to drive to. Um, if we use the method accelerate, we could say how many miles per hour we want to accelerate by, and so we would write Toyota Prius dot accelerate with an argument of 15. Now, methods are just like functions. Uh, a function can return a value or a function cannot return a value and simply do something. And so in the example of this first method, the drive method, it actually does something to the car. It makes the car go somewhere, but it doesn't return anything. Whereas in the accelerate example, um, perhaps the return value would be the new speed that you get after you accelerate by 15 miles per hour. So this is kind of a fanciful uh, example, not really a code example, but we'll next take a look at a code example of a method. So we've already spent some time working with the built-in string class, and there, is, there are actually several methods that are associated with the string class, and one of them is the method dot upper. So the way, what, the upper method does is it takes any member of the string class and turns all of the alphabetic characters into uppercase. So if I create an instance of the string class and uh, call that object my underscore message, then I can apply the method to that object by saying, my message dot upper, and that will take the string, turn it into uppercase, and then return the value of the string in all uppercase, which I can then assign to another variable and print. So this method does not have any arguments. There isn't anything we have to pass in, and it operates on the object. It does produce a return value, 